dear father, son, and the Holy Collective. My tale goes back to 1984. We were a young, newly married couple starting our lives together. There was no living together in those days. I think there was in 84, but anyway. We were now man and wife starting out as a Mr. and Mrs. I unfortunately suffered from nightmares. And very often, my husband would find me standing on the bed, shaking the quilt, normally to get rid of the spiders, mice, lions, or unicorns, or whatever other creature I had been dreaming about. I also had an unnerving habit of staring at him a few inches away from his face. Can't be (laughs) off-putting. With my eyes open, even though I was asleep. This didn't help his nerves, it must be said. Funny that. Why have I married? I never knew... Now, being young, we were prone to uh, playing pranks on each other. We were quite good at it. Steve, that's his name, the other half, he would often catch me out. Anyway, at the time, you should know, and maybe you remember, that all the scary films were out. It was a golden time. Nightmare on Elm Street, that kind of thing. And we would rent a video. Youngsters, ask your parents. And settle down on a Saturday night to watch having first had a takeaway and a couple of bottles of Black Tower. (laughs) <laughs> well, we are in the 80s we, we were broke newlyweds after all oh. On this particular occasion however We found that they were showing Psycho on the television A bonus in our books No rental fee We both admitted to never having watched it when we were younger As we were too afraid But having watched Nightmare on Elm Street the weekend before We decided that this was going to be tame in comparison And feeling brave We decided that we would watch it after all Now, one of my husband's traits would be to leave me to put the lights out and lock up. And generally, I don't mind this last thing at night, as he would warm the bed up before I joined him. Because I I hated cold sheets. This is the way way these things go. Sheets. People sheets in those days. Well, we watched the film, and I have to say, it did spook us out more than I thought it would. The shower scene particularly made us jump and holler like little children. We held on for dear life, Steve's nails leaving quite a series of indentations in my arm. (laughs) You'll understand if I really didn't feel like being the last one downstairs doing the locking up this time. The creaks, the bangs from the central heating were already sounding a little bit ominous. So quick as a flash, I locked up and shot into the bathroom upstairs first, beating my husband so he would be the last one up. Ha ha! But then a wicked thought struck. Instead of doing my ablutions, I turned out the light and hid in the shower. No! No! no. Crouched down as small as I could, I heard Steve rootling about in the bedroom, changing into his pyjamas, and then enter the darkened bathroom. One step to the basin... Two steps to the pool cord for the light. Not the biggest of bathrooms. As he... (laughs) As he reached for the pool cord, my arm shot out and I grabbed his hand. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Father Simon, I didn't know anyone could scream that loud or, for that matter, pull a shower curtain off its hooks. (laughs) Thank you. It's fantastic music, though, don't you think? Well done. I didn't know that I could pull a shower curtain off its hooks and then a curtain rail out of the wall that fast. Steve was white and shaking with a look of terror that beat Janet Lee's in the movie by far. He gulped and eventually words did come out, but I couldn't repeat them on the radio. You silly woman was the gist of it. <laughs> and in hindsight, this could have been far more serious as I'm only five foot one and he's over six foot. And I reckon it was just as well he pulled the shower curtain and not my arm. We surveyed the bathroom and now littered with plaster and twisted shower rail and torn shower curtain. And I have to say there was <clears throat> some mopping up to do as well. So I asked forgiveness... <laughs> For what was a terrible trick, and I'm sorry, but we never actually have spoken about it until now. I have never actually said I'm sorry until now. We don't speak about that prank, although I do relay the story to friends when I'm a little tipsy. (laughs) I hope you can find it in your hearts. I didn't really mean to frighten him quite as much as I did, and I have ever since locked up last thing at night for the last 29 years. We did need a new shower, though that isn't relevant at the time. Jenny's prank resulting in 
shower curtain torn, shower rail curtain, the whole thing pulled scene away from the wall. Scene of devastation. A scene of chaos. Oh. That's what we have, and it's Rebecca to sit in. I, I have to say, I love a good prank, but uh, I think I would have had a sense of humour failure in, in that particular situation. Uh, I mean, I just hate scary movies, and that whole, uh, that whole thing just makes me shiver. <laughs> Just so I can barely listen to that music without getting scared. Uh, so and he, Also, he could have done some serious damage to her. I mean, he, he could have thought he was genuinely under threat. And, you know. Anyway, luckily, well, he didn't. Well, not really. He was clearly his wife behind the shower curtain. Well, clearly not that, not, yes. not that clearly to him. Anyway, I think, um, yeah, if I'd been in his situation, I would have been furious. So I'm afraid I can't forgive you, Jenny. Okay, no forgiveness for Jenny. The Dean of Deadland goes Unforgivable. There. I mean, a scene of devastation. Mike, yes, a little bit of mic technique here. Could you move a little closer? Unfor unforgivable. 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 That's better. Oh, I was always told never get this close. Voice to the balls. <laughs> well, I normally shout. That's what I should be doing now. Um, a step too far for me. Unforgivable. Yeah. Yeah. Unforgivable. Goodbye. Is that it? It's yeah. hardly worth waiting for. <laughs> what? How dare you? Brother Matthew. Um, I, I, I'll admit, I, yes, I'll admit that, um, I mean, I, I enjoy the odd scary movie, but uh, watching them late at night and then locking up afterwards uh, gives me the shivers as well. And so if I'd been going into that bathroom and somebody had grabbed my arm, yeah, it wouldn't have just been the shower rail that goes tumbling. Um, but they needed a new shower. So, you know, so uh, everything's fair in love and war, you know. Um, and I'm sure Steve doesn't mention it because he's a little bit embarrassed. I think so, so I think it's...